this dress? How come I never see you wear it? Because when I wear it, it's a shirt. <laughs> so what's Howard doing tonight? Oh, they all went with Leonard to confront his childhood bully. Oh, terrific. High school quarterback against four mathletes. <laughs> when Leonard gets back, I'd love to check his serotonin levels. Do you think he'd let me draw a syringe full of his blood? Well, he's not crazy about needles, but if you get him to go jogging, it'll just pour out of his nose. <laughs> I don't think I can meet the girl who was always mean to me, Tammy Bodnick. One time while I was in gym class, she stole all my clothes and left an elf costume in my locker. Oh, that's awful. Worst part was it was too big. That's nothing. In ninth grade, the girls put Rogaine in my hand lotion. Within six months, the nicknames began to fly. I think the one that hurt the most was Gorilla Fingers Fowler. <laughs> Oh, you poor thing. What about you? Oh, I don't know. I guess my school was a nice place. We didn't really have bullies. Come on, no one ever gave anyone mean nicknames or picked on them or put gum in their hairy knuckles so the school nurse had to use peanut butter to get it out? No, we weren't really like that. I mean, look, we played pranks on each other, but it was never mean. Like, okay, this one girl, Kathy Geiger, got really good grades, so we blindfolded her, tied her up, and left her in a cornfield overnight. <laughs> That's awful. No, it was funny. Everyone laughed. <laughs> Did Kathy Geiger laugh? Uh, probably. It's hard to say. She kind of had an ear of corn in her mouth. <laughs> Who would have thought Fuzzy Fingers Fowler is best friends with a bully? But <laughs> I was not a bully. Kind of sounds like you were. You may be a felon. <laughs> Shh, that's how you wind up in a cornfield.